Got my panda head on. Some panda paws ice cream. Let's do this update. How's it going, everybody? This is Kavito7, and welcome to your May update. It is May 20th? May 20th? May 20th. It is May 20th. Time for your monthly update. I like to try to keep these updated monthly so that way you guys are in the loop of what's going on and what's going to be happening. And there's a lot this month to cover, so I want to go ahead and get started, get right into it. Uh, the webcam's been giving me trouble, so hopefully this is the last, fingers crossed, this is the last time that I have to do this video. I've had to do four of them. One was through my own fault, but we'll, we'll totally throw that to the wayside because you guys have no idea what happened. So, first off, I want to talk about my health. Those of you that were concerned because you were watching my last uh, update video because I said that I was going to update that week on what was going on. Uh, I didn't get to know what was going on until about last week, about maybe the week before at the earliest because uh, it I had to meet up two weeks after my blood labs. And good news is... Nothing life-threatening, so that's the good news. The bad news is there's still something wrong. We're not quite sure what it is. Uh, I'm starting to think that it's stomach ulcers. It's stomach-related. I have to go to an, I have to go get an endoscopy. Uh, for those of you who don't know what an endoscopy is, it's pretty much taking this long tube with a camera at the end down your throat. Don't you dare! The dog's in the room with me. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. Why? No. Calm down. All right. So they take a tube down your throat, and the, it goes into your stomach and your small intestine to see what is going on. Um, hopefully, there's. Hopefully, it is just stomach ulcers because that is easily treatable. Uh, hopefully, it's nothing complicated. I don't know what it could possibly be, but you know, I'm just hoping for uh, stomach ulcers because now that my life has kind of started to calm down a little bit more, because it was very hectic for a while. I was only sleeping three hours a day. Uh, today I actually slept six hours. It was interesting. I I've never had sleep issues until the past eight to ten months, and all of a sudden it just hit like a ton of bricks, and it's just not been good. And the stomach ulcers definitely didn't help because my stomach's always been upset. Um, I'm also vitamin D deficient. That's when they did the blood work on vitamin D deficient. That might be part of my problem. Uh, so that's pretty easy fix. It's going to take a few months to get there, but, you know, as long as I keep taking my vitamin D supplements, which I have been, I've been on top of it, I'm very serious about my health, uh, because for those of you who don't know, I was very much into weightlifting, I used to, I did bodybuilding, I did special forces training, I did all of that, you know, you name it, I've tried it, or done it, and, uh, you know, so I, I take all that very seriously. I know the doctor doesn't know that. She just takes it for face value. She's like, well, because I, I told her, I was like, I was 210, and then I dropped weight, and I'm now down to 194 or something like that. I dropped a lot of weight, and it was over the course of just one month. So um, that was very serious. That's why she was scared, too. She's like, well, we need to get you some blood work and see what the hell's going on here. But... I think I'm going to be okay. I've been maintaining weight. I actually have an appetite now. I'm starting to wonder if maybe I'm a little hypoglycemic, but at the same time, she said that, oh, I don't know if thyroid affects it or not. Look, my medical knowledge is not the best, okay? So I'm going to leave it to the doctor for that one to decide, and uh, we're going to go ahead and continue on to Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3, for those of you who don't know, didn't watch the Nameless King boss fight, it's done. The series is done. I've already recorded all of it, um, unless DLC comes out very soon, which I doubt it will. Uh, it usually takes them about, what, six months after release to uh, come out with DLC. So, um, it's done. Uh, I just put up some videos. I put up the Sig Siegfried side quest stuff, and I looked back on it. I was like, wait a minute, where's my Deacons of the Deep fight? Because the Deacons of the Deep fight should have been right before that. And turns out somehow the footage got lost, and I gravely apologize for that. I didn't mean for that to happen. Um, usually how I was running my session setups were the beginning of the session, I would try to do a boss fight, and you'll see that in the Boreal Valley one. Um, because I already explored the Boreal Valley uh, after this Sig, Sig, Siegfried, Siegfried, Sigward, Squidward, Squidward fight, 
After the Squidward side quest, I think I, I also explored uh, the Boreal Valley, which then you start the next session, and I start with the uh, Pontiff fight, which actually I did make that public. I did make that public, so that's up. But that's what happened with that. I am severely sorry for what happened. I have no idea how that got lost in transition when I was trying to edit it out. Maybe I was really tired at the time. So there have been times where I've actually pushed myself to the point of exhaustion just trying to get these videos ready. So um, I apologize. That's two to three videos gone because they're usually half an hour each. It took me about an hour and a half to explore the entire Boreal Valley. About an hour and a half, something like that. It wasn't too bad. But I, I think after that, everything should be uh, still recorded and fine. I think editing-wise, I'm now editing... It's not, I just got done with Smoldering like a while ago. I think now, Dark Souls 3 editing-wise, I am at about... I, near the end I think it was near the Lothar Castle I was at Lothar Castle which uh, that's going to be a lot of editing because the audio for some reason screwed up on that while I was recording I don't know what happened but uh, it didn't take too well to me recording the mic was doing noises and shit so I apologize for that as well but I don't want to stick too far in Dark Souls 3. There's a lot of editing that's got to be done near the end of it. So if the ending takes a little bit longer than what everything else has been going up so far, I apologize. Uh, next, I want to talk about Minecraft. Uh, for those of you that know my Minecraft series, know that it's pretty much my rant and rave section where I talk about stuff. Uh, much like uh, SSOHPKC used to do uh, Mario Hacks, he would do his little bitch sessions. Uh, I wouldn't say bitch, he, he, but, you know, he complained a lot on it. Uh, he doesn't do it as much because he doesn't work where he works, so he doesn't complain as much. And that's kind of the point of where I'm at. But either way, uh, No Man's Sky is coming out June 21st. I already pre-ordered. I heard that there's an offline mode. I'm not positive on that. We'll see. If there is an offline mode, I will turn that. Minecraft will swap over to No Man's Sky because No Man's Sky is going to be so much fun. Um, well, just, I don't know if it's going to be so much fun as much as it is. It's just going to be so fascinating because I don't know if any of you have seen the gameplay for No Man's Sky, but it just looks amazing. And... The specs required for it are severely low, and that's why I'm kind of weirded out by it, because, like, on most games today, like, Dark Souls 3 was like, oh, you only need a GTX 760. I have a fucking 980, and I have frame rate problems. So that's why I'm wondering, and that was what, that was recommended, right? And now I'll probably go on their specs, and it will say, like, GTX 980 Ti or Titan or something. But, which are $1,000 pieces of equipment that I really cannot afford right now. But, either way, sorry, I had to pick my nose there for a second. I apologize. But, No Man's Sky, June 21st, it'll be out. And that's probably going to be, I'm not going to bitch on it, alright? I'm not going to, I have some sessions already planned out of what I want to talk about. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, trust me. There's already some sessions already planned out of what I want to talk about, which is going to be really interesting. There's going to be some things that uh, I want to explore mentally. Like, you know, there's some things that I want to talk about on there that I don't usually get to talk about on any of the other games. I know, uh, like, one of my friends that watches me said, you know, your game, because uh, he watched Dark Souls 3 mainly, he's like, it's not, mo it's not like cracking jokes or anything in particular, like, outside of the game. Like, within the game, yeah, I'll crack jokes all day. But, like, talking about real life and all that other stuff, I try to remain as professional as possible. Um, I know I'm not perfect. There's going to be moments where I do get unprofessional about it, but it is what it is. Um, I'm not here to make money. I'm here to entertain. Uh, more particularly myself, because I have to go back and watch all this stuff as well. And sometimes I like to put random edits here and there. So kind of keeps you guys as interested as well as it keeps me interested. So No Man's Sky, I've got stuff plan planned for it. Um, 
the uploads will be sporadic on that, however. I'm not going to uh, be doing it every single day just because it's an exploration game. It's not like, you know, a lot of people think that you can have commentary on, unless you're doing online with somebody, but after reading some of the issues that they have been running into with the online play, I kind of want to stay away from that and just do offline. It would be really nice if they had LAN, if they had to do local area network. That would be really nice in case of when I move, I can, you know, do LAN with Casey because I, I really want him to play that. It's a really great game. I mean, it's like Minecraft, only better. There's space! You can go out in space! It's going to be awesome! And all that other stuff. So, No Man's Sky, that's uh, definitely on the docket in the far off future. Well, I wouldn't say far off. Next month, because it's exactly a month away. I do believe twenty. Yeah, it's uh, thirty-two days away, something like that. So, be on the lookout for that. Next, I got to talk about Resident Evil Seven. <sighs> Sorry, I this is a lot for me right now to be talking so quickly. And I do that every time with these videos. I always try to like mash everything in as quick as possible and this still ends up being like a 20 minute video uh resident evil 7 capcom released uh, saying that there will be more information at e3 however yes resident evil 7 is in the works i kind of figured that it would after six um to be honest with you six was not all that great i was not impressed with it but you know but capcom also said that i think that's what they've been doing the whole time, because they announced that they were uh, taking longer to make games because they wanted to ensure that the product was good. This shouldn't even be an announcement. This should be a normal standard for every game across the board. I'm not talking just about Capcom. I'm talking about everybody. And I think that's what happened with Metal Gear Solid um, uh, 5, Metal Gear Solid 5, Phantom Pains was they took so many years to develop the engine and work on the game and they wanted to make sure that it was a well-polished product now i have my thoughts about konami that are not so extravagant or great but i will tell you that they actually made a very excellent game uh there was no frame drop whatsoever even while recording that's why i was so impressed you know you got all of these fucking triple a games out now that have frame issues and I have a 980 like that's it's not top top but it's like top three so the fact that I have a top three video card driver that's an EVGA mind you which is very good quality I spent really good money on that to make sure that I didn't have frame drop and now I have fucking frame drop with every fucking AAA game that comes out except for Metal Gear Solid 5 that's the only game I had very little frame drop and for some reason, I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, you could just turn down the set. I shouldn't have to turn down the settings. I shouldn't have to take out face cam because it desyncs because there's so much fucking frame drop. And that was the problem I had with Dying Light 2. You know, and I think I mentioned that in the following DLC. I finally take out face cam because the desync is just so bad that you can't that it just desyncs the audio from the video. So I can't do face cam with it. Well, I couldn't. It's already recorded, so, you know, it's already said and done. But future games, I can't do face cam because, you know, we have I have some of the I don't even know how Markiplier does it. I don't know if he dumbs down his settings or what he does if he has somebody overclocks the live, ever living shit out of his equipment. That's my, that, I didn't want to have to overclock my stuff, but it may have to be required at this point because I just can't I can't do face cam because frame drop is just so prevalent and bad. And you know, I got a solid state drive now. I've you know to help it doesn't help a frame rate as much as people some people may think it is, which those some people are probably idiots. But it helps with loading times, and it helps receive and send the data a little bit faster. But it's just, I shouldn't have to bust my chops to dumb down the settings because, you know, because it's a AAA title and they don't fucking polish it before the end. You should always polish it. You need to give it that third coat of wax so it can survive the elements. 
that's a fast lane reference for some of you out there that have never seen any uh, TV shows in the 2000s. You need to go watch that. But that's all I got to rant and rave about that. That's that's for another Minecraft video down the road. So Resident Evil 7, will I cover it? I mean, I'll I'll watch. I'll look at the trailer and stuff. We'll we'll see what happens. I'm not gonna make any promises on it. I do, however, want to. I want to take a look at it. I want to see how it's going to turn out. Uh, because Resident Evil 6 turned way too action-y. It was way too action Because I was getting ready to record it. Because I was going to record it and put it on the channel. But, you know, at the same time, I have two two series that are completely recorded. And they're not even uploaded. Because I don't have good internet. Um, that's actually got to be talked about in a few minutes. Right now, though, uh, Resident Evil 7, I'll try to cover it. I'll try to. I'll see what happens. I'll see uh, how good it looks, how polished it's going to be. Um, hopefully, we're not going to have the same issue that I had with Dark Souls 3 with constant frame drop. Oh, my God. Dark Souls 3. What is wrong with you from software? Fucking Dark Souls 2, you did great. And then, you know, you get to Dark Souls 3, and it's just so goddamn bad in terms of performance. Like, I don't get it. Granted, the environments are breathtakingly gorgeous but it's just i can't run 60 frames a second on that goddamn thing and near the end it got even worse because i went into a boss fight and i fucking hit the end <laughs> i apparently critted and i critted so hard that the fucking game almost crashed it like dropped to 14 frames i was like holy shit but that's that i'm done talking about that we're gonna move on to cry fear i was going to play cry fear um, unfortunately, though, I, I it crashes every time. I wanted to try and get Cry Fear up. I wanted to try and do some sort of horror game. Because I haven't played a spoopy game since Claire, and that was only three episodes long, and I went to go start it back up, and my save got deleted. So I was like, well, fuck that. I'm not going to spend the half an hour to catch up. Um, which, actually, I think I did try not too long ago, and it took me fucking two hours to try and catch I didn't even catch up to where I was last time I don't know what if I'm dumb if you know somehow I got dumb throughout like the process or what but I want to do cry fear but it crashes every time and uh also I went to go look online and you know they said this yeah that's that's great great support great support you guys are so awesome you fucking dicks. I hate you. Not you guys, the viewers. I, I hate the people that made Cry Fear. I just want to make that very clear. Um, it's just unbelievable. The companies... Uh, I don't even know if it's companies or just a bunch of modders that fucking made it. But the support that they have, or lack thereof, is just appalling. That they would do something like that. Like, oh... Your system must be shit, you fucking scrub lord. <laughs> Again, third best uh, video card. Well, not anymore because they're, they released the 1080, the GTX 1080. So now it's like the fourth or fifth best. God forbid that I don't spend the $1,000 on a fucking piece of equipment. Actually, the GTX 1080 is uh, 600 or something like that. I may think about invest. The plan is down the road once I get uh, settled into Texas is to build another rig, and that that's probably what's going to be put into it is the GTX 1080. This will be used for my home recordings unless uh, something happens to it, and then I need to build another fucking rig, and then this is just going to be my workhorse. But that's a plan for six months down the road, six months to a year. And with that, I'm done talking about Cry Fear because they pissed me off. So now I want to talk about the possibility internet. For those of you that don't know, for the past two years, I have talked on and off about uh, trying to get upgraded internet. So that way I could, well, low latency internet compared to satellite internet, which is absolute garbage. I already know for a fact that once I start uploading... With the new internet, they're probably going to throttle the living fuck out of it. Because for those of you that have been watching me recently, know that I'm putting about 5 to 10 videos up per day 
after our data cap is exceeded. Once the data cap is restored, I can't do that as much. I have to upload on my off days, which is two days a week, which is still about 10 videos a week, which, and it depends on the internet because sometimes the internet wants to be a piece of shit and um, doesn't exactly work all the time. So that's, that's the thing. Oh, uh, they'll probably throttle a living hell out of it. But I can play online with uh, Casey if I wanted to or any other friends that wish to do collaborations. I know that there's somebody else. I'm not going to mention their name. But they watch my stuff and they're a content creator as well. I may have to contemplate uh, doing some collaborations in the future with that. We'll see. I didn't, I, again, I'm not going to promise anything. Because the last time I did that, well, the first time I did that, I felt so shitty to have to tell you guys, oh, well, they prolonged it three months, and then I waited three more months. And they're like, oh, well, we're not going to be able to get to it until next spring. And then next spring came along, and I didn't even fucking mention it in any videos whatsoever because I fucking knew they already promised twice. Third strike, and you're out. And, you know, I just emailed the, uh, apparently they got the supervisor, and he emailed me. Here, let me see if I can pull this up real quick. I'll try and do a transition, I guess, if I can remember to do so. It's not going to let me. But he was like, oh, well, I'm not quite sure uh, why I got why you got forwarded to me, but uh, we're supposed to start production in the coming weeks, which was a little over a week ago. So uh, I emailed him back. Yeah, it was like last week or something like that. And uh, I emailed him back, and I was like, no offense, sir, but uh, this is about the f seventh time from four other different people that I've been promised good internet. So I'm not sitting on my hand waiting for it. I mean, no offense to you. I'm sure that you're just doing your job and all that other nonsense. But at the same time, you got to understand from my perspective, I've been waiting over two years, been told by four different people, seven separate times, that I should have had internet by now, and I still haven't. So, you know, needless to say... I'm a little frustrated. I'm a little pissed off with you guys. Man, this is just an episode where I'm just pissed off. <laughs> like, I'm just pissed off at everybody. Everybody's just pissing me off this month. Uh, except for the viewers. The viewers are actually making me happy. The The views and minutes watched have never been higher. Uh, I'm excited. Subscriber count is high. You know, I'm happy. I'm extremely happy. It's just my goddamn feet are so goddamn itchy. I need to get that checked out, too. But... Other than that, like, everybody else has just been on the verge of, like, trying to piss me off on purpose. So, hopefully you guys don't try and do that. You guys are the only things I have left that, you know, actually bring me some joy at this point in time. Except for my family. Oh, my God, my niece is a bundle of joy. But, I think that's all I got to talk about. It's been 23 minutes. I think that's enough for an update video to let you guys know what's going on. And I can cover more if I want to down the road next month. But for now... Thank you all so much for watching, as always. I really do appreciate your support, and uh, I will see you all in the next video. See ya!